Hello, I am Caleb Cook from Campus Balloon Animals, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a very cool kind of balloon that I don't see a lot of people using on YouTube. I'm hoping I can change that. They are the Bee Body Qualitex 321s. You can get all colors of them. Well, not all colors. Not as nearly as many as you can get at 260s. And not even as many as you can get at 646s. But you can get several colors, which is enough for me. So you can get green ones, red ones, white ones. This is a untipped. They consider these special. That means that they inflate all the way. Which makes no sense because all balloons inflate all the way, but... Okay, so the tip inflated on that. That makes it special. Because on these other ones, which are also 321s, equally balloon, these are tipped. They're known as bee bodies because you can use them to make bee bodies, but I never do. Never, ever, 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 ever. I've been asked to make a bubble bee one time. Okay, so I carry around like five yellows and like a hundred of these white ones because these white ones and the red ones that are tipped are like the most popular things I make. So I'm going to show you this cool trick. I got this from the Qualitex book because I saw one of these. I was like, oh, that's a cool idea. I'm going to steal that. So, give the credit where it's due. Qualitex magazine. So you inflate a uh, white one. Alright, so I inflate it that much. That's like a full hand split. And then I burp it a little bit because I've got to be able to do a tulip twist on this. Tie it. Got a hole. Take this. Same thing again. Okay. No hole. Okay. Now this one doesn't have a hole. I can show you this. So I'm going to do a two-loop twist. Twist my finger down inside the balloon. Grab a hole of that. Pull my finger out. Twist, twist, twist. Push the knot back down inside of this balloon. Right, so you then you take a dry erase marker because you don't use a sharpie. Dry erase. Okay. Two dots, one dot, five dots, three dots. Hands. And so some of you guys might have seen this in the little book. You don't have to do the hands. The hands are completely optional. To be honest, I usually skip them because I think it makes it look worse. But for those of you that have seen this magazine that I'm referencing, it's a snowman. And I thought, that's such a cool snowman. And then I made it, and then it was so tiny. But, then you can take a red, uninflated, 350. And, he's got a little scarf. Or you can leave that off. And that's little school, little snowman. These are incredibly popular. So I'm going to show you that one more time. White tips, 321. Tie it off. Do the twist it. Expo. One, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Little kids are always like, why are you counting? Well, I was counting 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, so I can do that. That's it, that's it. I mean, that's fast. You know, you want to hold it for like a good 10 seconds, don't give it to the kid immediately, or else they're going to go and get that on their fingers. But, I've mentioned this in a previous video, I'll do another video on it. Why Sharpies are so evil. I don't use them. Alright, but I'm going to show you this one here. This is the other balloon I use. I go through red and white tipped 321s faster than any other balloon. Um, so I'm going to show you this trick. Kids ask me why, the, when they point to a balloon, so they grab a different red balloon, they're like, why don't you use that one? 
And they told him it's an apple. And they're like, it's not an apple. It's a balloon. They said, no, it's an apple. Watch. Right, so I fill it up. For as big as an apple as I want. Today, this is all the bigger my apple is going to be. Just to the twist. But this time, I make sure I have nothing on top. Or on the bottom here. So that's all that I have. All I have is a little bit Plus, there's a little bit of stem. Push that back inside the balloon. And you have an apple. So I'm going to show you that one more time. Inflate the balloon to the size of the apple you want it to be. Tie the balloon. We're going to do this one slower. Take your fingers. Stab the balloon as hard as you can. All the way down there. I hope it doesn't pop and the little piss cover that you use. And you get. It didn't pop. Yes. Wow, well, I was expecting it to pop. I guess that's not a good apple because an apple didn't pop. And you're like, what? And said, I don't know. I don't have a good reason for it to be popping, but. Confuses little kids. And then it's cool because I take the apple and go. And it hits them in the face. And it's. Fun for me, and if they drop it, it's fast enough I can do it again. So I kind of have fun with that. But those are my three twenty ones. There, being able to do those two shapes is probably actually more beneficial to you than all of these other videos that I've made. All right, so I'm Caleb from Caleb's Balloon Animals. Leave whatever you want me to make in the future in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thinking about it, I think the subscribe button's right there now. If it's not, I will look when I make this video. I'm not going to change this part because I've already pointed. Anyway, the subscribe button should be there. Comments I know are way down there. They've never moved up there. Right? So if there's something you want to make, leave it in the comments below. I think I already said that. Subscribe. Alright, peace.